we're going to be taking a look at the HTC Evo 3D ice cream sandwich made by um, a XDA member by the name of Joe Wells. Um, I think he has a number after his name, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'll have it in the details of the video. Um, first of all, this is a very, very smooth Alpha 3. Um, this is a ice cream sandwich port. It's not, you know, cyanogen mod or anything like that, but it's a, it doesn't need to be. I mean, this is a very smooth ROM. There's not much wrong with it. The only things that are, uh, not working are the uh, camera, 4G, and, uh, 3, 3, and 3D. Data works, Wi-Fi works, um, and also the uh, battery reporting doesn't work. So it always shows that you're on 99% or something like that. Uh, whatever the case, it's not accurate. Um, even if your battery depletes and you reboot, it's uh, it's still going to be like 99%. Um, the audio to this video is probably not syncing up, syncing up perfectly with the video uh, because I was using um, I was using um, screencast and for some reason didn't catch my audio so I'm doing uh, redoing the audio so um, the browser when you get it um, it's going to be all jumbled as you can see mine is not jumbled right now I mean it, it it looks smooth and it's very fast but uh when you first get it it's going to be jumbled and you're going to have to uh go into the browser and uh delete everything out and put about okay I don't know why that did that so we're going to go back into the browser and we're gonna clear everything out and we're going to put about colon debug not sure why we do this. Uh, this is what I was told to do, and it worked. So, okay, you see how it's jumbled. That's how it will be when you first get it. Okay, we're gonna go into the settings, debug, and uh, it, we're gonna enable it and then um, disable it because uh, when you get it, it's enabled already, and that's what's causing it to be jumbled. So you're gonna want to disable it and go back to the um, browser, and it's gonna be very smooth. <clears throat> okay. All in all, this is very speedy for an alpha, and uh, I mean everything pretty much works on it. Like I said, uh, data works, Wi-Fi works. Um, I think Bluetooth works. Battery does not report. 3D and uh, 4G do not work. So, but uh. Here's the phone dialer, <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to show you this guy's uh, contact information. It's it's not valid anymore. This, so I mean, if you want to call him, go ahead because it's not my friend. If they, we'll look at Best Buy real quick just to see what that looks like, and then uh, I'm going to go to my friend Brian. It is my friend Brian, but this is not his number. So if you want to call it, feel free to. This is what the contact looks like, and uh, it's a, not a very good picture. But if you had a better picture up there, it would look nicer. And you can go to messaging from there and pull up the ice cream sandwich keyboard. Everything is smooth on this ROM. Joe Wells did a fantastic job. <clears throat> um, a lot of people are having a. Uh, issues with the uh, Google search being on the home screen you can go just like I did to preferences and then right here search bar disable it and take it off the screen I personally like the uh, search bar on there so I'm gonna keep mine on there but uh, we can go and see if there's another search bar and uh, put it on there, one where we can have it on only one screen, because I don't like that it's on all of the screens. That's one thing I don't like. And we'll see if we can put that on there. And Oh my god, that is the ugliest search bar ever. <laughs> There's no way I would keep that on my screen. That is disgusting. I don't even know why Google would even 
come up with something like that. So I'm going to take that off. I'm going to go back to System Preferences, Home Screen, and I'm going to enable the search bar again because I like the search bar and, uh, you know, hopefully there will be a workaround for it to keep the search bar on just the home screen and not all of your screens. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm talking fast. Because I'm, I'm trying to keep up with this video because I don't remember exactly what I said when I said it. But uh, everything pretty much works on this. The the G Talk works. Um, you'll have to flash um, the uh, gaps, and I'll put a. Um, there's already the 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 Google apps are already in this ROM, but uh, to get like uh, the G Met or the G Talk and certain things, you'll have to flash another one. But uh, also. Um, if you're trying to use rooted apps, um, you won't be able to out of the out of the gate. So you're gonna have to flash an older super user file, which I will show you what that is in the details of this video also. And you can just flash this uh, ROM, and then flash the uh, Google Apps, and then flash the super user file, and you'll be good to go and you can use all the rooted apps but if you don't then it'll say that it's not uh, able to attain root so I would use this as my daily driver but without the camera that's a deal breaker for me I use my camera all the time 4G I don't care about 3D I don't care about but as far as the camera I need the camera so if, if you got if you don't care about the camera then you know you don't worry about it and you just go about your business but <clears throat> I like the camera so I'm not going to use this as my daily driver until they get that fixed anyway this is ice cream sandwich for the Evo 3D hit me up in the comments follow the thread and the details of this video thank the guy who 